Okay, so I think I've found a way in which people are already intuitively using negative length tension of the latissimus dorsi. I've got some light weights here, and I'm going to use my deltoids, my shoulders, to pull them up like this. I can do this sensibly and use the deltoids with that sort of weight. But if I get some heavier ones, these are 15 kgs. And I try and do the same thing just with the deltoids. I can only get them up so high. But if I sort of do this, there we go. I can move these weights. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not actually isolating the deltoids very well. I made a previous YouTube in which I titled it something about the three body problem. And then I proceeded to talk not about the three body problem in the entire thing. But I just co-opted the whole idea and pointed out a different problem that people weren't paying attention to. And that's the fact that according to Newton's third law and according to the conventional biomechanics, it should not be that easy to transfer energy from the body, from the legs and the torso to the arms, right? So if I got my arms here and I twist, my arms want to go in the opposite direction, right? They don't want to go like this. They actually want to go backwards relative to the shoulder. So I'm explaining there how it's not actually, or it shouldn't be so easy to transfer energy to the arms. So when I get these heavy weights, how am I giving the appearance that I'm using my deltoids when I'm not? I say it's negative tension of the latissimus dorsi. But if I tense my traps like that, I can no longer tense my traps. So let's see what happens when I try and use as much of my legs and torso as I can to get these weights up. I can actually do it, but I have to do it differently. <laughs> okay, I couldn't help laughing at the end of that tape because I didn't really prove my point very well. But when I was doing it with the lats, with the, and I also said traps instead of lats, ignore that. But when I was trying to do it with my traps tense, I had to sort of go forward more like this. Whereas if you use your lats, you can sort of go out like this. So the lats are going to push to there. And if I go like this, I can go like that and then release and use a little bit of momentum and pretend that I'm using my deltoids when I'm not. Not that this is a useful skill. This is just a way in which people are currently using negative length tension. So I want to point out that when I had my traps tense and I managed to get the, my arms out like this, I had to push forward like this and pull up. And then, of course, if I pull my arms out like that, this movement isn't against resistance because weight goes down, gravity goes down. So that's why I was able to get my arms out like that. If someone was actually doing that in the, the gym, you'd notice because it looks completely and utterly ridiculous. But it looks more ridiculous than doing that, and that is also ridiculous. If you want to isolate the deltoids, just, you know, do maybe this range. The only way this skill is useful is in trying to impress people and make them think that you're doing something impressive when you're really not. Uh, that does seem to get you a long way in this world, especially in the fitness industry and in sports science. But the point, the reason why I'm teaching you this is so you have a reference for negative tension of the latissimus dorsi that you can sort of understand and hopefully use for some actual good reason. Great words have never been spoken more greater than those words. <laughs>